Okay, so let's solve this topic, the hyperbola. Then we have these problems to so find the center, the vertices, and the foci. Then we have this given equation. So take note that for the equation of hyperbola, one of the variable with exponent 2 is negative. So for this given, x squared is negative. So first, we need to rewrite this equation in a standard form. And to write this equation in a standard form, we need to group all x and group all y. But take note that for the first group, must be the positive variable. Since for this given, y squared is positive, so therefore the first group is y. So we have now 4y squared, then plus 32y. Since this one is negative, so minus, and for the second group, we need to change all the sign. So for this negative 5x squared becomes positive 5x squared. And for this positive 30x becomes negative 30x. So again, for the second group, we need to change all the sign. And for this constant transpose, so that becomes positive 1. Then we need to put this number outside. So we have 4 times. So this becomes y squared then plus. So this 32 divided by 4. That's 8. So we have 8y. Then minus 4x squared. So this 5. Put outside, so this becomes x squared in minus this 30 divided by 5. So 30 divided by 5, that's 6. So we have 6x then equals 1. Then after this process, so do completing the square. So 4x, so take this number, that's 6. Then divide by 2, take the squared. So 6 divided by 2, that's 3, and 3 squared, that's 9. Then for y, so take this number for y, so that's 8. So again, divide by 2 and take the squared, so equals 8 divided by 2, that's 4, and 4 squared, that's 16. Then we need to add these numbers to this equation. So we have now 4 times y squared plus 8y then plus 4y that's 16 so plus 16 then minus 5 so we have x squared minus 6x plus 4x that's 9 so plus 9 then equals 1 then take note that the number we added on the left side must also be added on the right side since we add 16 for y but we have this number outside that's 4 so therefore plus we need to multiply these two numbers so plus 4 times 16 then the other one since this one is negative so therefore minus then multiply these two numbers, so that's 5 times 9. Then simplify, so we can apply now the factoring. So bring down 4, then factor this quadratic equation. So factors of y squared, that's y times y. Since this one is positive, that's plus. And factors of 16. That's 4 times 4. So we have y plus 4 then to the power 2. Then minus 4x. So we have 5 times factors of x squared. That's x times x. Then since this one is negative. So minus and factors of 9. That's 3 times 3. So we have x minus 3. 
then to the power 2. Then equals, so we have 1 plus 4 times 16, this one is 64, minus 5 times 9, that's 45. Then simplify, so we have now 4, then times y plus 4, then to the power 2, minus 5 x minus 3 to the power 2 equals so add these three numbers so 1 plus 64 that's 65 and minus 45 so that's positive 20 then take note that for the equation of the hyperbola always equal to 1 so therefore we need to divide this 1 by 20 and all the terms to equate this equation to 1. So this time we can cancel now this 4. So we have y plus 4 then to the power 2 over this 20 divided by 4. So that's 5. Then minus so we can cancel now this 5. So we have x minus 3 to the power 2 over this 20 divided by 5, that's 4, then equals 1. So this is now the standard equation of this hyperbola. Then to find the center, since in the hyperbola the center is h and k. So, from the standard equation, so if this one is x, so therefore this one is h, then this one is y, so therefore this one is k. So, therefore the coordinate of the center, since h is negative 3, so h is positive 3. And for k, that's positive 4, so therefore k is negative 4. So this is now the coordinate of the center. Then for the vertices, since this hyperbola is vertical because x squared is negative, so therefore formula for the vertices, that's h, then k, plus and minus a. Then take note that in the hyperbola, the first denominator is a squared, so therefore this 5 is a squared and 4 is b squared. So to solve now for the vertices, so to solve for a, since a squared is equal to 5, then take the square root to solve for a, so therefore a is equal to square root of 5. Then substitute now the values. So from this formula for the vertices, so h is positive 3 and k, that's negative 4, then plus and minus square root of 5. Then we can uh, simplify this one as 3, then negative 4 plus square root of 5, and the other one. 3, negative 4 minus square root of 5. Then simplify, so we have 3, then this negative 4 plus square root of 5. So we have negative 4 plus square root of 5 equals, that's negative, 1.76. So this one is negative 1.76. So this is now the coordinate of the vertex and the other one. So we have 3, then this negative 4 and negative square root of 5. So we have negative 4 minus square root of 5. That's negative 6.24. So negative 6.24. So these are now the coordinates of the vertices. Then to solve for the foci, so again, since this one is vertical, 
So that's H, then K plus N minus C. But we need to solve first the value of C since C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared for the hyperbola. So we have now C squared equals A squared and A squared is 5 plus B squared and B squared is 4. So therefore, C squared equals 5 plus 4, that's 9. Then take the square root to solve for C. So therefore, C is equal to 3. So this time, we can find out the coordinates of the foci from this formula. So we have H, H is 3 and K. K is negative 4, then plus minus C and C is positive 3. Then simplify, so we have 3, negative 4 plus 3, and the other one, 3, negative 4, minus 3. So therefore, the coordinate of the foci, so we have 3, then this negative 4 plus 3, that's negative 1. And the other one, so we have 3. Then this negative 4 and negative 3, that's negative 7. So these are the coordinates of the foci.